Hey, what's up everyone? I have received multiple breaking news notifications regarding various things. The first thing that I'll be reporting on was from four minutes ago. Four loud booms have been heard in Saudi Arabian capital of Riyadh. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Reuters witnesses reported this. That's the first thing that I'll be covering. The second thing that I'm going to mention is a 6.2 magnitude earthquake has struck off the coast of Papua New Guinea. So, let's see what they had to say. Four loud booms have been heard in the Saudi Arabian capital. And obviously this is in the Middle East and the military reported these booms. So, um, no more information has been, no, no further information or details has been have been posted. And as of 36 minutes ago, casualties are feared after more huge explosion followed by gunfire are rocking the Afghan capital of Kabul. So let's see what Google News has to state about this. As of six minutes ago, mirror.co.uk has given breaking, breaking news notifications of more explosions and more gunfire. So a lot of violence breaking out in the Middle East. Uh, casualties are feared after multiple suicide attackers. This is ridiculous. Um, targeted at least two locations in Kabul in a coordinate, coordinated terror attack. Heavy gunfire was also heard amid an ongoing fight between police and surviving attackers after at least six loud blasts were heard. And these explosions occurred in the Afghan capital. A number of at attackers were held, were holed up inside these buildings at the two sites. These attacks just really get ridiculous. But um, moving on, as of an hour ago, more several more several loud explosions were heard in the Afghan capital after multiple explosions took place. So several loud explosions and then gunfire. Um, several bombers and uh, these two uh, groups here I suppose took credit for it this one and this one I'm not stating their name because I don't even want to mention I'm not even mentioning their names in the video you can check it out yourself uh, I don't mention their names in the video I don't even want to give them any sort of mention because they're not even worthy of mention I don't even want to give them any any sort of any more I don't want to give them any sort of any more attention than what they already receive but the explosions were reported um, six people were killed at a clash in an Indonesian high security jail between Islamist militants and the police two security sources stated that so an hour ago six people died in a clash uh, in Indonesia as Islamic militants battled them I think it was, no, yeah, the militants and police battled. And as of one hour ago, Fox News reported that the Iranian Iranian lawmaker says the country plans on spending an increase on ballistic missile program. So, let's see what else. Politicians, they, the Iranian politicians set fire to a paper U.S. flag in the parliament after President Trump, Donald Trump's decision to pull out of the United States Iran nuclear deal and, uh, and shouted that right there, that phrase. And uh, it's just ridiculous. All of these tensions and clashes are just ridiculous. I mean, completely, completely ridiculous. But this is the latest news. So, BBC News stated that Iran nuclear deal is not dead. The European powers tried to save the agreement after the United States exit. They said it's not dead, despite the United States exiting this agreement. And, uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of information there. You can check it out on BBC News. Just search Iran nuclear deal BBC News. And again, that 6.2 earthquake off the coast of Papua New Guinea, reported by the World News and multiple sources. I did not get to report on this one earlier. There were actually four earthquakes off the coast of California. Well, actually, it wasn't off the coast. There were four earthquakes um, on, in California. One was off the coast, 
and the other three were right here in this location. So that actually occurred as of 18 hours ago in California. So the earthquake in Saudi, uh, not Saudi Arabia, they had one as well, but in uh, Papua New Guinea was record, reported by the India TV news outlet. There's all kinds of news coming out of the Middle East right now. Um, if you search the latest breaking news, they said that the Middle East looks like it's on a path toward disaster. It could be on a path toward disaster. And all kinds of stuff taking place right now. It's, it's just being, it just seems like that it's, kind of being forced into escalation really it seems like that that they're just sort of acting like they're just playing a game and and uh making just making a mountain out of something basically they're just it just seems like they're they're just playing a game of chess with the people's lives and that just seems to be the way the elites do it's it's sad really and those in charge the actual globalist elites, the ones in charge of all of it, they just play this game and it just seems like it doesn't seem that difficult to get along and work on policies that could get along. There's too much violence in the Middle East. Not only the leaders there promoting it, but the people and every and everyone. It's just... And there are peaceful people everywhere, but they're being invaded by the ones who are causing all this chaos and it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Come together, work on a compromise, and try to... I mean, anyway, but that's just the latest news taking place regarding the, uh... Some of, uh, some of the breaking news headlines regarding the, uh... Uh, regarding the different attacks. And four more loud booms have been heard in the Saudi Arabian capital now, in Riyadh. I just got that breaking news from Reuters as of 15 minutes ago, so... Four more loud booms have been heard. Um... The Daily Star reported that Saudi Arabia reportedly intercepts more missiles taking place. Missile strikes. As of 10 minutes ago, more missile strikes above Riyadh, if that's the name, the correct name. More missile strikes have been have, are taking place. This is breaking news. Uh, missile strikes have been intercepted above Riyadh. The state-owned TV reported four consecutive loud booms were just heard in Saudi Arabia's capital. There was no immediate comment from the Saudi authorities. In recent months, Yemen's Hattus, 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 whatever, have targeted the Saudi capital several months and several times with missile strikes from Saudi military, from the military, but they have heard four more booms and four more missile strikes have been intercepted by the Saudis. Not exactly sure where this, is, this came from, but after, uh, after this took place in Kabul and the gunfire and missile attacks, and Afghanistan, just an hour ago, has been attacked and uh, several loud explosions by suicide bombers. So, and then gunfire reported from the from the authorities against those bombers, and it's just ridiculous. And four loud booms uh, have been heard in Saudi Arabia as of 15 minutes ago, 47 minutes ago. Casualties took place after gunfire rocked the Afghan capital, and now uh, Saudi Arabia has intercepted four or several missiles above Riyadh. So four loud booms and now they're intercepting missiles in Saudi Arabia. I'm not sure who or where this came from, but that's breaking news officially from... This is from this news source here. So this is official news. And Saudi-owned satellite channel says ballistic missiles have been fired were fired by Yemen. So four minutes ago it was updated from the Washington Post that Saudi-owned satellite channel says the ballistic missiles were fired by Yemen. So Yemen is firing ballistic missiles at Saudi Arabia for some reason right now, and they are uh, firing at each other, and from the sound of this. So that's what's taking place right now. I'll give you later. Later, I will give you the latest breaking news if possible. So much love, stay safe, and this is the latest breaking news regarding various occurrences taking place in the world around us. Stay as safe as possible. Peace. Bye. Much love as always.